Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so it's been a few months since I made a video, but uh, I still keep getting questions about the Curse slash Twitch desktop app. How to update your add-ons uh, for World of Warcraft. And I've already made videos about this in the past, but people are still asking questions. So I figured I'd go ahead and make an up-to-date one. So if you can see here, I'm at curse.com. So you can do this with me. Open up a web browser, uh, open up a tab, go to curse.com, www.curse.com. You should see this page in front of you as of today's date, which is September 3rd, 2017. This is what you should see. And it says, uh, get the Twitch desktop app. Or down here on the right, it says, go to mods and add-ons. Okay, if you click that, this is what you should see. You'll see the different games and you can just select, in our case, World of Warcraft, click add-ons. And you'll see the old curse page where you can choose your add-ons. Uh, and let's see, newest add-ons, updated add-ons, you know, it's the same thing that it's been for years. Okay, we go back over here to the curse page. If you click the uh, Get the Twitch Desktop App, click that, it'll open up this other page, and it'll tell you a little bit about it, about the app itself, and there's a big download button right up top. If you click that, it'll start to download, in my case, the Windows version, and that's what you'll get. And I'm going to pop my, this is what it looks like, this is the desktop app. So I already have it downloaded, obviously. And you can see on the uh, left side, these are people that are on Twitch. So you got Hansel, Bajir, you know, Tally, all the name brands, right? So that's under browse, uh, follow channels there. If you click browse, you should see these, your games on the side over here. Okay, and these are the live streaming games. So like if we go to World of Warcraft here, there's 32,000 viewers right now. So if you click that, it'll show you some of the people that are streaming right now. These aren't the ones you're following, this is just everybody that's streaming at the moment. But what we're interested in, if you click mods up top here, and then you should see the games. And so like on this computer, I have Minecraft and World of Warcraft. So they both show up there. And then I want World of Warcraft, obviously, so I click that. And then you can see these are the add-ons that I have installed at the moment. So I have a bunch of add-ons installed but you can see the ones that need to be updated. So you can just go ahead and click update all right here and it will start updating all them. Boom, just like that. They're done. Everything else is up to date. And you want more add-ons, you just click the get more add-ons tab. These are tabs right here. Somebody said they didn't know what tabs were. These things are tabs. <laughs> so there's the get more add-ons tabs. Okay, and you can search for certain add-ons if you know the name of an add-on you need. So maybe you're raid boss or, or raid leader or something says hey you know get this add on you can just search for it right there or you can just scroll down and look at things you can see the other uh, categories for things so say you want pvp specific ones uh, so like i have gladius installed deadly boss mods which really isn't pvp i don't know why it's in there but whatever server hop which i believe is probably dead isn't it yeah. anyways so there's all your categories and your search and your add-ons and if you want to go back you can hide this little tab over here go to my games my games is it's kind of lame i don't i find no use for it so i i mean you can click that and see what happens but i don't really find a use for it and like i said so all they did was just take what we were using curse for in the first place for our add-ons took that and they also took the twitch interface and they smashed it all into one little desktop app. That's it, that's all it is. And then they added some of these, uh, so like, uh, let's see, we'll go to Hansel. So he's streaming right here. So we can see him streaming in the app itself. We can see his chat over here and a nice commercial going. Yeah, we don't need to see the commercial. So anyways, that's it. That's how you use the Twitch app. That's how you find it on the website and that's how you use it. I hope that helps somebody out. <laughs> Bye.